Now, for one year since his appointment to the cabinet, Rashid Echessa has ruffled several political feathers, forcing his way into controversies as he sought to stamp his authority in the Western Kenya politics. Yet, the 36-year-old will be remembered more not for his performance, but his public outbursts and fights he picked with anyone that criticized him. For one year, Sam Gitsuku has been seeking audience with a man entrusted with the sporting affairs of the nation. And here now tells the story of a chessa as told by those who knew him from his early days. The town of Shibale in Mumias had been a quiet one for years until one morning on Friday the 26th of January 2018 when the president named the son of Shibale a cabinet secretary. And so a village came to life when he was cleared by parliament to be a government minister. Like is usual for a politician who loves the glam, Rashid Mohamed Echessa was quick to organize a homecoming party. And to do so, he had to make a mark. We were there one year ago on the 2nd of March 2018. When Echessa's handlers disrupted the calm in the village from the air to the ground. A large beast delivered to his ancestral home draped in banners depicting Echessa's political fathers at the time. It would be the gift to Deputy President William Ruto at Echessa's homecoming the following day at the Mumia Sugar Sports Complex. <laughs> Here is a man who had made it against all odds and he knew it. He was the reason for the song and dance in a town that had stood to be counted in the opposition during the 2017 election. Mimi niko na kiti ya kitaifa. Mimi ndo naongea na rais na naibu wa rais. Kwa hivyo, mimi sitaki viongozi waanze kuruka. Eh, hey, hiyo watakuwa navunja protocol. Kwa sababu unakuja kwangu kwanza, una report ndo mimi napelekea rais. Perhaps for a chesser, it was a dream never dreamt. His Excellency the President and the Deputy President, they have indeed demonstrated to Kenyans that uh, even a son of a peasant in this country can be given a chance to lead his country in the capacity of a cabinet secretary, Mr. Speaker. I want to say, Mr. Speaker, I am deeply, deeply humbled. The story of Rashid Echessa took us to Shibale Primary School. Rashid Echessa Mohammed. Who is that? He had been here for nearly eight years until one afternoon he had had enough. Under Rashid was brought to this school in ECD. He learned here ECD up to class seven and uh, dropped out. Nicholas Wanguche, now a retired teacher, was a Chesa's head teacher until a Chesa dropped out. Uh, only Prashid just dropped out like uh, well, like any other any other people from school. Although we tr we tried to make a follow up to have him back to school, but he didn't uh, come back. Lost of opportunity, Echessa turned to the Mumia Sugar Company's sporting facility. He met his would-be boxing coach, Tom Mboko. A quick learner. And within a period of three months, I'm a catch-up. Boxers was a man he became so good that he would represent his team in major competitions with his peers immortalizing the memories in these pictures. Uh, the most memorable moment was when he fought and uh, he almost killed somebody in the ring until the, the coach of the opponent threw in the towel. That is when the prison's uh, team picked him from us and um, he went to Nairobi, we bade him farewell. But he didn't stay for long at the prison's boxing team. He returned to Mumias, but his interest in the game dwindled, and he turned to business. The way I know him, he has worked very hard as a businessman, and uh, I'm happy with his achievements. Even before he was appointed as uh, CS, 
Aonde Prashidi has been a very successful businessman around. From this sports complex, Rashid Echesa boxes his way to fitness, earning himself probably the main qualification for the sports CEO's job. Even though the boxing ring may not have lived to see the unfolding of his dreams, it remains a stark reminder to the young CEOs of the blood glory in the sports sector of dreams threatened should nothing change. During this time, he had hopped from one controversy to another, harboring a serious irritation with his former political inspiration and ODM leader Raila Odinga. Please Raila, give me a break, I'm not your equal. Kama Raila sasa mekwandio appointing authority in this country, I want to dare you tinga wherever you are. Come and suck me. Odinga, however, never publicly engaged the CS. HSA's next target was Kakamega Senator Cleopas Malala. <laughs> the two have had spasms of love-hate relationship. Their point of departure being HSA's support for Deputy President William Ruto that Malala kept criticizing. At one time in 2018, the two were embroiled in claims of adult content leaked to the social media to tarnish each other's image. And while pundits estimate what may have finally sealed Chesa's fate, the latest case of seven young men accused of calling a businessman in the name of President Kenyatta is not lost. One of the suspects now out on bail, Joseph Waswa, spoke to Citizen TV one year ago. An elated young man that time had nothing but praise for his body. Waziri ya mekua rafiki wa karibu, uh, tangu uh, nasema katika maisha ya ujana. Uh, since he was uh, an ODM uh, youth leader and uh, precisely he has been also a business partner uh, where we, I myself, am into real estate and uh, we happen to, it, happen, it happened uh, sometimes that we were enjoying into some of the business. So it is a long time friend that the uh, Majuana kwa muda brief. Waswa was at the forefront planning a Chester's homecoming party March 2018. So initial someone called me and told me that uh, as Rashid had been appointed as a minister, you know, he was, in fact, he was sleeping. You know, he had sat on the front seat. Uh, I told him, uh, are you sure? From there now I had to tell the, the driver to stop the vehicle and, and I asked him, was it there's some news? I don't know if it's true. So by that time people, they were calling. So before when I told him, People were calling here and there and that and that. So surprisingly, he received one of the call from a friend that you've been appointed as a CS. He had to park the car side. <laughs> and uh, it is not something that uh, he was, it was unbelievable. Actually, it is something that it find all of us as a, as a surprise. But so far, there has been no linkage of a Chester to the incident by authorities. His happiest day was a Friday on his nomination to cabinet and he loses his flag on a Friday. He had been Jubilee's senior most politician in government from Kakamega County alongside his successor, the sports ministry, Sias Amina Mohammed. <laughs> and as he dances his way to the next phase, he will have to pick from where he left politically, having burned a few bridges. <laughs> Sam Getuko, Citizen TV.